DeJounte Murray, Brandon Ingram, Dyson Daniels, Nas Reed, and Tyrese Halliburton are all on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today. It is Monday, November 6th. We're talking DraftKings, but we gotta do it right after this. First things first, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live, and then follow me on Twitter. The big one though, banner at the top of the screen, NBA Treat. That will get you our NBA lineup generator for $4.99 for the first week. This is the perfect tool for the one lineup, two lineup, three lineup type player. We simulate a ton of lineups on the back end. We get rid of all the ones that we don't think are any good. We present the rest to you. Thousands and thousands of options. If you like it, click save. If you don't, click discard. They just keep popping up in front of you. Balance builds, chalky builds, contrarian builds, whatever you're looking for. Lock players, swap players. This is the tool for you. And again, $4.99 for the first week. If you hate it, cancel at any time. You're only out that $4.99. Now, we're on to my top five. First man up, oddly enough, is Kyle Anderson. Slow-mo is 4,500, projected for 23, goal 28, winning the lineup 21% of the time. I went 26 minutes here for slow-mo. He's around a 0.9 fantasy point per minute guy. This is mostly just a price and position thing. I think we'll end up with enough value later on that he's not as interesting. And to be clear, 21% odds to win for Anderson, 17 for Murray in the number 10 spot. There's not a lot separating these guys. You're gonna see the top end look a little bit different different. But I do think slow-mo is just going to fill out the stat sheet. Eight points, four and a half boards, three and a half assists, two stocks. It's not a great spot against Boston, but at least it's in Minnesota. Jalen Johnson in at number four, power forward only, which is kind of a bummer, but 5,600, projected for 28, winning lineup 23% of the time, assuming he's back in the starting lineup. And when I say back, he, he did have that brief dalliance where Bay usurped him again. Assuming Jalen Johnson is in the starting lineup, Call it 0.9 to 0.95 fantasy points per minute. 11 points, eight boards. So a double-double is well within his rights. Two and a half assists, a stock and a half. Slight pace up spot against OKC. Slight favorites here as well. Although it does look like Shea Gilgis Alexander is going to be playing. So maybe you see that line move. Either way here, Jalen Johnson looks good at 5,600. The minutes are just there. My personal pain point for this year is Zach Levine in at number three. Shooting guard, small forward eligible, so you're also getting guard forward and utility. 7,600, projected for 40. That's about what you're looking for, although you probably need a little bit more. 24% chance to win with Zach Levine. 35 minutes, he's a little over a fantasy point per minute. 26 points, that doesn't seem crazy. It's a great matchup against Utah. They're the favorites in this one. Four, or four boards, three and a half assists, maybe a steal. I just love the positionality here for Levine, and we know what happens when the when it's cooking. He goes for 50 real points. My boy Dylan Brooks showing up at number two. Again, positionality is huge in the morning. Shooting guard, small forward, 5,200, projected for 27, winning lineup 28% of the time, 34 minutes for Brooks. He's playing a ton. He's playing within himself, 18% usage for Houston, 14 points, Four and a half boards, two and a half assists, a stock and a half. You know he's going to be active defensively. Fantastic matchup against Sacramento. Their defense isn't very good. No De'Aaron Fox either. Makes it look even better for Brooks. But again, flexibility is key. Shooting guard, small forward, guard forward, utility. Put him anywhere. But the guy you want the most right now is Goga Batadze. He is center only. 4,700. Projected for 28. The goal is 28. He's in the winning lineup 29% of the time. No Wendell Carter Jr. So that's going to make things a little bit different today. It's just easier. Now he's not 3K like he was over the weekend, but he's still the best center play you're gonna get to. 10 and a half points, eight boards, two assists, two stocks. Great matchup against Dallas for centers, at least. I like Derek Lively, but he's still a young'un. youngin so. I look at it like, well, we're going to very easily get to Goga Batadze today. He is the number one contender. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Monday, November 6th. The FanDuel version is around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. I'm not back again tomorrow because there is no basketball. I'll see you guys again Wednesday morning. NBA treat!